Welcome to another episode of Geometry. This is Unit 4, Section 3, Inequalities in One Triangle. Inequalities in triangles? That's not fair. Okay, so the definition of inequality is for any real numbers A and B, a and, and A is greater than B, if and only if there is a positive number C, such that A is equal to B plus C. Okay, so here's an example of that concept. If 5 is equal to 2 plus 3, then 5 is greater than 2, and 5 is greater than 3. <laughs> So here are some properties of equal inequality for real numbers. Okay, uh, these are true for any numbers, any real numbers a, b, or c. So the comparison property of inequality: a is less than b, a is equal to b, or a is greater than b. Okay, those are the relationships. The transitive property: if a is less than b and b is less than c, then a is less than c. Um, the converse, or the you know the in inverting that, we would go the other direction. If a is greater than b and b is greater than c, then a is greater than c. The addition property: if a is greater than b, then a plus c is greater than b plus c. If a is less than b, then a plus c is less than b plus c. The subtraction property: so if a is greater than b, then a minus c is greater than b minus c. If a is less than b, then a minus c is less than b minus c. Okay, so do you remember the exterior angle theorem that tells us that the measure of angle 1 in our diagram here is equal to the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3? Okay, so now taking what we've already learned about inequalities and using the exterior angle theorem, um, we can now say that the measure of angle 1 is greater than the measure of angle 2, and the measure of angle 1 is greater than the measure of angle 3. Okay, so exterior angle inequality teaches us that the measures of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either of its corresponding remote interior angles. So looking at that statement, that means that angle 1 in this picture is greater than measure of angle A, and the measure of angle 1 is also greater than the measure of angle B. Okay, so now we start to talk about angle side inequalities. So you'll see here that we have the longest side of this triangle. And that will be always across from the long, largest angle.
Okay, now the flip side of this is that the smallest angle will be across from the shortest side of the triangle. So, if one side of a triangle is longer than another side, then the angle opposite the longer side has a greater measure than the angle opposite the shorter side. So, what we can look at on this diagram, we can see that the length of segment XY is 17 and the length of segment YZ is 12. So, since XY is longer than YZ, we can look to the angles opposite them and we can say with certainty that the measure of angle Z is more than the measure of angle X. Now, we can flip this around, and we can say that if one angle of a triangle is, has a greater measure than another angle, then the side opposite the greater angle is longer than the side opposite the lesser angle. So, we can see here that the measure of angle J is 110 degrees, and we can see that the measure of angle K is 45 degrees. So, we can say with certainty that the measure of segment KL is longer than the measure of segment JL. <laughs>